Welcome back to Pod Sauce, guys. I'm excited about our next guest. We got Jake Hanrahan. He has a podcast called Megacorp. And Megacorp, if you haven't heard of it so far, it is about big corporations, the shady side of big corporations. This season is about Amazon. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there, there's many different layers to it. We kind of started at the bottom. So, you know, what are, in my opinion, the most important workers at Amazon, you know, the warehouse workers. So we started with the mistreatment of them. And then we looked at the health and safety. And then we looked into the tax. Um, and the latest episode, it's about Amazon. Um, are they spying on you through these various different kind of home security systems that they sell? So yeah, we're kind of, each step up, it kind of gets bad. You know what I mean? It's bad from top to bottom. It's so funny because I actually listened to it from the bottom to the top. Um, and I started off with the uh, episode five that Jake was just referencing, uh, is Amazon listening? So wh where do you think we go from here? I mean, personally, I, I don't know why anyone would want to have this thing in their house, mm -hmm. you know, like a home assistant, just get up and turn off the light. It's not, it's not <laughs> difficult, you know what I mean? Like, I really, I, I personally don't understand it, you know, uh, Alexa, Google this, like, just, just do it yourself. I, I, you know, I mean, for, for, for submitting like all of this security and privacy to take what, like one step out of something you did anyway, it just seems so lazy. And, you know, it's, it, I really don't see that there's a payoff. Um, honestly, it, it does seem that like a lot of these home security systems, to me, I mean, people can decide themselves, but if you listen to that episode, it sounds more like they're geared towards surveillance than home security. It's kind of, I'm torn, right? This is where I have to give you a little bit of a pushback because you'll see in the press uh, how ring surveillance has actually helped to capture home break-ins. Uh, there was this one woman in Texas, you know, who was a victim of assault and her ring was able to catch the person who broke into her home, right? So it's a, it's a catch-22. I agree with you. Like, just get up and turn off the lights. But, mm. you know, as someone, like, I travel a lot, you know, so there are certain smart systems that I have within my space to make sure that when I'm gone, I'm like, uh, who's that in my apartment? I didn't, you know, mm -hmm. file a, it, for anything to get fixed you know so that's why i'm saying like where do where where's the happy medium well i mean there is that case like you said but then there's also a case you know to push back on that where there was a woman that saw a guy she didn't know on the ring camera he was um like mentally unwell the police got called because of it because she saw it on the ring camera the police went out and shot and murdered the guy yeah. you know and this guy just needed help he wasn't actually doing anything illegal you know in fact i know someone whose brother a similar thing happened their brother was like trying to get into the house because he'd had some kind of nervous breakdown. He wasn't actually trying to do anything. Um, and they put his image all on the internet. Look, we found this this guy trying to break in. He's a criminal. And it was like, no, actually, he was mentally unwell. We needed help, you know? So there is that as well. I also, I would argue that like, okay, it's great to know if somebody's breaking into your house, but they're still going to break in. You know, if you're not there, they're still going to break in. And I also want to know, like, you know, with Megacorp, why Amazon? Why is this the company that you wanted to focus on? And in future seasons, are there any other big corporations that you're going to be setting your eyes on? Um, yeah, it's a good question. I, I think Amazon, just because of with COVID, they're one of the few companies that has absolutely bloomed. You know, I mean, they were doing great anyway, but they've just like tripled um, their revenue. Um, and they kind of affect everywhere, you know, everywhere there's just scandal there you know there's just so many things like even in my country they they don't pay the proper taxes they treat the workers badly um you know it's all over we, we just had that situation where um you know people were told to stay at the warehouse when that hurricane came in and sadly people died because of negligence you know and it's just so broad and it, it spans all different parts of kind of business and life i just thought you know what i think we should probably look into that and the more i looked it was like, wow, there's so much here, you know? Um, and I just felt I want to put it all together. And, you know, there's there's kind of like um, like a prologue episode. We're not saying boycott Amazon. We're not saying you're bad if you shop there. I've got a book out. It's for sale on Amazon. You can get it. I'm just saying, <laughs> I think people should, should be aware. Right, get that, Jake, now that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. It. You're Don't like... <laughs> but you can't live without it. Right, it is you, know, you can't live without it. So you, so you, know, you, you know do cars use Amazon the world. then? Still drive cars. You use Amazon Sorry? yourself? Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course I do. Yeah. yeah. You know, I mean, if you're in hell, you have to dance with the devil sometimes, you know, and it's like <laughs> me not using it is going to change nothing, you know, um, and there is the amount of money they make, there is never going to be a substantial boycott. The power needs to come from the inside with unions and stuff like that. 
Um, but also, I'm not trying to preach to anybody. I don't believe in that. This is journalism. This is not activism. And it's just saying, here, here's what's happening. Then you make your own mind up. It's up to you. There is no right or wrong answer. I just think at the very minimum, if you're using the service, just you know. should know what's happening. So, you know, when I'm listening to your podcast and I'm listening to people and the things that are negative about working for Amazon, the work conditions, all of that, have you talked to a lot of employees? Because what I'm curious is, with there being a million people that work at Amazon, there has to be something that they actually do enjoy about working there. Have you got what that reason is why people are staying? Um, I mean, it's very easy to get in, you know, like, for example, if you have, um, I don't know, if you're at a loose end, then you think, right, I need a job, there's a warehouse near there, like an Amazon warehouse near me, you go on an app, you know, I don't even think you end up speaking most, in fact, like every worker actually bar one that I spoke to, that got the job there. So they didn't actually speak to anybody, you know, it was like on an app, they got the job there, they didn't even speak to their boss when they get there, they just it's all like, you know, you become like this flesh robot which for some people is convenient. You know what I'm saying? It is convenient and it can be useful. Also, like the pay isn't that bad, you know, comparatively. Um, it's not like, I mean, I would argue the amount they have to work, it's it's <laughs> less than fair. But, you know, compared to other people in, in that um, industry, it's, it's not that bad. But do you then just say, well, you know, these people can, they should have to work these insane conditions and in unsafe environments because they get paid good. Like, I, I don't think that's fair at all. Right. You know what I'm saying? But, if you know, it, it, it is convenient. And compared to some other warehouses, the pay is, you know, it's, it's okay. Now, Jake, you're a credited producer um, and creator, a uh, documentarian for Vice, Guardian, um, HBO. But what can we see from subsequent seasons of Megacorp? Are there other corporations outside of just Amazon that you have your sights on? And what, are you, what is your overall hope that people will take away from Megacorp? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, firstly, I mean, I have to really be careful because I've got my other, like I run my own um, journalism platform, Popular Front. And it's like, if I keep going to all these businesses, <laughs> the world's going to get very small for me. You know what I mean? Um, they're probably going to start, you know, stopping things. But you already have a strong base. I mean, that that's cracking the top 100 on, on iTunes. I mean, on the, uh, yes, was it iTunes? Yes. Yeah. Uh, and the political yeah. podcast, which says a lot because there's over 3 million podcasts so I think you'll be good, but I hear you. <laughs> yeah, well, the problem is, like, for example, I yeah, I know what you mean, but, like, Facebook is one I would love to go after. But um, the popular front, Instagram, has been banned about 20 times. Mm. <laughs> you know, it's been brought back every time. But, you know, Amazon owns, uh, Facebook owns Instagram, so you don't know. But, yeah, I, I think Facebook would be a really... Um, there's something more insidious to Facebook than Amazon. Amazon, I don't think, like... Bezos is evil or anything. I just he just doesn't care. Last question: As a journalist, how do you stay encouraged to speak truth to power with everything that's going on? How journalists are constantly attacked uh, in the press across the board. How do you stay encouraged to keep bringing the truth out there uh, to the public? I mean, I enjoy it. You know, like I enjoy this job. Um, I know it can be hard to be a journalist, right. but I'd argue it's a, a lot harder to be um, an Amazon employee um, in a warehouse. That's way harder. I've mm -hmm. done them kind of jobs. You know what I mean? And the idea that like being a journalist is like this super hard job. It's no, I'm sorry, I'm not having it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I know single mothers with two jobs trying to raise their kids, you know, cleaning and stuff like that. That is hard, hard work. Um, I enjoy this job. I like it, but I'm realistic about it. And I think like if you've got a passion for it, and you get to the place where you can live off of it, just be grateful and keep hammering it. You know what I mean? Keep going at it. Keep doing what you're supposed to do. Don't be arguing on Twitter. Don't be getting <laughs> hyper-political. Just do your job. You know what I mean? Which is present the facts in context and tell the story. And that, to me, I just enjoy it. And that keeps me going. It's like people attack me all the time. It's like, cool, whatever. It's just the internet often. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Obviously, you know, things with my, obviously I cover war. So, you know, when I'm out in the field, things can get a lot worse than just the internet. Um, but you know what I mean? You, you just have to keep doing it. Um, you just have to enjoy it for what it is and work hard at it. You know what I mean? It's just, I think that's your job. So you chose it. You have to do it properly, I think. So, Jake, we, you know, our audience is really coming to us for recommendations on podcasts. And you are a podcaster. You're, you're a journalist. Do you have any podcasts that you're listening to that you could recommend to our audience right now? Um, honestly, like, so 
um, Megacorp is part of this new vertical within IHA, um, Cool Zone Media, it's called, by um, Sophie Lichterman and Robert Evans. And genuinely, like, this is even a plug, like, in within that bracket, they're doing some really cool stuff. So I would say check out what they're doing. Hood politics is interesting. I listen to that now and then. You said hood politics? Outside of that. Yeah, yeah, you heard that. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, that's good. Um, but outside of that, like, um, honestly, like, I listen to weird kind of true crime stuff a lot. <laughs> I like that. There's a good one called... Um, unresolved which is like one of the very first kind of og true crime ones 100 people have copied his concept but he's just you know he's really good at it. he's still doing it um and there's another one angry planet that's great that's a great podcast um i listen to that that's kind of just about you know geopolitics in the world and stuff like that awesome we're writing down we're writing them down jake so that we can listen to them and then we can continue to push forward and recommend this kind of stuff to our audience. I think I'm gonna check out Hood Politics. For some reason, <laughs> I feel like it's gonna speak to me. <laughs> well, Jake, I have, to say, I have to say, it's fun to put a face to the voice because mm-hmm. listening to your podcast, you have a very distinct voice. Yeah. And I was like, I can't wait to see what this guy looks like. <laughs> oh. Because it's, it's, it's just fun. Like, yeah. I don't know, something about good. your voice is awesome. It so feels- if anyone wants to check out Jake's podcast, Megacorp, it is a, a part of the iHeart Production Network and it's it's also done by Cool Zone Media. And so we are going to put up a link directly on our site, podsauce.com, yeah. to your, your podcast. And thank you again for joining us. I think what you're doing is really awesome work out there.